Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of this new radio, which is the Quancheng UVR50. I'm also going to do a little bit of a power test, followed by an on-air test, which I'm going to be comparing it to a UV5R from Baofeng because from previous videos that I've seen on this particular handy has some interesting results and it could quite well be the Baofeng killer. So stay tuned. So first up, I'm just gonna quickly show you what you get. I'm not gonna to spend too long on it. I purchased this from AliExpress just over a week ago and uh, it came rather quickly. So um, there we go, we've got the uh, manual, the power brick, charging cradle, belt clip, and the standard rubber duck. And of course, the lanyard. And what we do with these boxes, throw them. And we've got the radio itself. According to the manual, the radio does a high output power of seven watts, but I highly doubt that. Oh, my guess is probably around four to five watts, but um, as you can see there on the back of the radio, seven watts, so it states. And you get this 3,300 milliamp hour battery, so it's going to be quite decent. Programming the radio wasn't too difficult. I had to use Quan Sheng's own software to do it. Unfortunately, it's not supported by Chirp. And even trying other different radios, Baofeng radios, in the menu of Chirp to try and get it to be identified as a Baofeng didn't work either. So I had to resort to Quan Sheng's own software. Okay, so we are on VHF. We're on 145.250. So let's see what it's doing. Okay just over, well, 1.3, just over a watt on VHF. Then we'll switch to UHF, and it is doing just over five watts, five watts, not bad at all. So now I am going to do a very quick comparison with the UV5R. So for this test, on the left hand side we have the UV5R from Baofeng. I think this is the uh, fourth or fifth gen. It's the Black Knight edition which has the inverted black screen. And obviously we've got the new Quan Sheng on the right. To make it 100% fair and the same equipment on both, we're gonna use a speaker mic, same one, same connectors, and we're going to use the exact same antenna, which is out on my balcony, and it is a Hamking SG7900. It's a mobile dual band whip. First up, we will be trying the repeater down in Worthing. It's a 70 centimeter repeater, and it is GB3WO. So here we go. Hopefully it will focus. There we go. So, Let's uh, see if we can open it. M7, MMC checking access. M7, MMC checking access. Nothing. And it is connected. <laughs> Nothing at all. Okay, now same repeater on the Quan Chen. M7, MMC checking access. Not only are we picking it up nice and clear, we're getting a full signal. Yeah, station required chicken access, no problem at all, you make it into WO from the M6 to HH. 
This repeater we're going to try is GB3IW, 70 centimeter repeater, and it's on the Isle of Wight. So again, distance down below, and let's see if we can open this. Now this sometimes is quite notorious that I can't open it sometimes, but let's try. M7, MMC checking access. Nothing at all. So, I'm not going to call in, there's no need. As you can see, I am receiving IW at a full signal. So I'm going to quickly switch back to the other radio and see if we're getting the same thing. And I'm not receiving anything at all on the Baofeng. One last little test. The Baofeng is connected to my outdoor antenna and I'm not receiving anything at all on IW. Okay, look, nothing at all. Okay, so let's put that back. The Quan Sheng on the rubber duck. So there we have it guys, um, quite an interesting video to be honest with you and uh, I didn't expect, I didn't expect that result. I thought I'd hear, at least hear the repeater on the bell thing, um, but to not get anything is strange. So Quan Sheng UVR50, is this the bell thing killer? I think it could be. You can pick the Quan Sheng up on most Chinese websites. I picked mine up from AliExpress and I ordered it only a week ago, just over a week ago. And um, I had it sent from Spain. They have different warehouses, you see. And sometimes when you're buying, you can order it from either China, Russia or Spain. So I'm going to wrap up the video there. Um, this comparison has been quite an eye opener because uh, I didn't realise just how bad this bell thing was on receive. It's as simple as that. Um, I've seen other comparison videos, and it's kind of that thing where, you know, you want to see for yourself, and uh, I certainly have now. So the price point of the Quan Sheng is there, there with the bell thing. The downside to the Quan Sheng at the moment is that you can't program it with Chirp. So that's something to bear in mind. You need to use their own software but you can download that from their website. So as a final, if this video was of some help to you, I hope you'll uh, drop a little like down below. If you're new to the channel, you know, it'd be lovely to have you on board and uh, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate every subscription. So until the next video, I'm gonna wish you all the best 7-3. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves, looking out for one another and taking care. Until the next video, guys, I'll catch you all soon. 7-3.